something great is happening in Africa. It is ignited by the passion of our young people. As Safaricom brings the digital divide, Decode is where this light is going to shine bright. For so long, we've been told that we are the dark continent. But here at Decode, we're not just looking to have any other summit. We're looking to ignite a continent that is on the cusp of exploding with great ideas. We believe as Safaricom, we are best poised to give this platform. And we don't only do it here in Nairobi, but we even do it across this country. As you see the work being done on Chapadimba, as we bring AI to the forefront and other technologies, we are also looking to inspire, to spin off and plant seeds in the most rural parts of Kenya, that we have the potential to solve our problems through software engineering. George leads a digital IT, and I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot from what that team does. It's an 850 strong team in one organization, which has grown from 250 three years ago. So we have more than tripled the number of people who think digital every day, who think IT every day, who think about the power of combining the role of technology with innovation to solve society and customer challenges. Once tech talent is onboarded in Safaricom, they become a core part of our business and the heart of transforming to a tech core. Ladies and gentlemen, let this be the dawn of an exciting journey towards establishing a vibrant engineering ecosystem in Kenya and our commitment as Safaricom and partnering with everyone in the room, government and all our partners is to enable that ecosystem thrive. Today we have roles we cannot resource and yet I have a heap of CVs where I'm told recruit and how nice it would be if we partnered today and going forward to ensure that whatever we train is fit for future. What now we are doing is we are elevating it a level higher to make sure that we are known as the home for digital talent in Africa. So far, we've partnered with six universities who are now targeting specific programs. We also have 14 training partners, five tech hubs and community organizations and seven government agencies. So the government is actually at the center of this and we applaud that, as well as 14 players in big tech. To enable the startup ecosystem, we are working very closely with our colleagues in the Ministry of Education to ensure that our universities can really become five front spaces for innovation and research. And within our ministry, we are working on the establishment of the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which will be our equivalent of Stanford here in the country to be able to grow a similar ecosystem that we have seen in the Silicon Valley. I want to confess that uh, I didn't know that you are at this level. And now I'm very confident that I can stand here and invite you to decode GOK. Please come and decode government of Kenya. And I want to invite you, as confident as I am today, to join us and help us to make Jamuri Day, which we are hosting youth and creative economy, to be a success. We can see that you can make us be positioned and showcase Kenya as one of the countries that can attract serious tech investment.